What's going on YouTube? I'm back after a little bit of a break. As you guys saw, the family had a baby and I had to take a little bit of time off. So I'm back and today we're gonna be looking at these Power Acoustic Super Tweeters. And I got these at Walmart and I paid, let me show you guys what I paid for them. I paid $9.87. And the only reason I bought them was the price, uh, under $10. You know, I, I just, in a way, have to hear what they sound like. So let's open these up and uh, we'll put them on the test bench and we'll see what they sound like. But I will say they might sound a little better than when you uh, maybe put them in your car if you choose to buy these. I'm going to be using a amplifier to put some sound into these. And so they might sound a little better than maybe, let's say, powered off a head unit. So just so you guys know. So let's open this up. But before we do, let's just take a quick look here. This is the NB18 model, I'm guessing. 200 watts max. No beam. Microdome super tweeter. Okay. I'm not sure if they're trying to say no DM. All right. Built-in crossover, okay, surface or angled hardware, so you can mount these either flat or at an angle. And I see some screws. And here's the back, 200 watt max, basically the same thing. High efficiency super tweeter, right on. So let's open these up. I got my scissors ready to go. And I did buy these with my own money. So, I want them $10. So how's everybody doing? Good. Like I just said, my family just had a baby. And uh, we've been busy, so. All right, let's open this up. Okay. There you go. So it looks like some two-phase tape. Okay. This must be the angled mount. Two of those. Tweeters. And some screws. Okay, nothing else in the packaging. Okay. Got some instructions. Just a little, little note right there, just congratulating you right there. There's a little responsive curve, okay. And uh, for high powered system application, please use resistor 16 ohm. Okay, gold wires are positive, silver wires are negative. Accessories included. So these are the different mounting options that you have. And it looks to be that you have different types of screws. The flat head screw like goes in the center of what this flat disc is. Let's see. Like so, so it's flat. Okay. And then it looks to be the two screws would mount in either one of those holes. You'd probably want to use the outside holes like so hopefully you guys can see and then you can mount this anywhere you please and then you would attach this to that screw that down and then pop this on here and that's only if you want an uh, angle to your tweeter maybe facing you but if you don't you could just mount this on any surface 
maybe with one screw or even put some two-faced tape on the back of the tweeter type of thing and just stick it somewhere but yeah gives you options gives you screws uh, here's the tweeter you can't really see much it's all black there's not much contrast anywhere power acoustic logo on top NB-18 on the bottom little a symbol on top kind of cool um, it's got a little bit of weight so maybe this is gonna sound okay but I'm not expecting much for ten dollars um, and the wire isn't that long which is okay they give you about 10 inches or so all right and again you have a positive and negative the positive is the gold one all right and there is no lettering on the wire to let you know that the positive is the gold but you saw that in the instructions so we're good there so that's the pair okay so I tried to read the resistance or the ohm of the tweeter and when I do nothing happens okay so let's try it on this woofer okay that works but nothing happens with the tweeter so I'm not sure what's causing that, but uh, Power Acoustics says it's a 4 ohm tweeter. So now that we've seen this tweeter, let's uh, let's hear it. We saw everything that's in the packaging. Again, some mounting hardware, some screws, two tweeters. Some instructions okay not bad for 10 bucks but let's hear what they sound like so give me a second guys I'm gonna set up the test bench I haven't touched it in a while so I'll be right back okay so I got this set up and right now I'm only driving this tweeter uh, it's powered by this Rockford punch 40 by 2 uh, nothing else is running, just that tweeter. Uh, and I want to hear what it sounds like. And I'm going to try to turn it up uh, what I normally turn it up uh, on this bench, which is around, I don't know, close to 20 or above. Before I start, let me show you the name of the song. That's the song that I'm using. And uh, it's a YouTube approved song. So, not the best of songs, but. Uh, YouTube likes it, so here we go. Not that bad. Now I am having to kind of turn it up a lot, but it might just be the song. Okay, so that's just one tweeter going, and uh, it doesn't sound that bad. It doesn't sound bad. So that's just one tweeter. I'm going to turn this down because it's really loud. So that's at a low volume. It doesn't sound bad. So I'm going to pause this. Okay. And I'm going to connect this other one. And that's just sitting like so. So I just got to connect those wires together. And we'll have the pair going. So give me a second. I'll be right back. Okay. So I got both going. So I'm going to rewind that song. Here we go. Pretty loud. Not bad. Let 
and it's really loud in here. All right, so that's what that sounds like, and this is at a lower volume. So they definitely, they definitely work. All right, so what I'm gonna do next is hook up the five and a quarters. Okay, I got the door speakers wired up. So I'm gonna do the same, I rewinded the song. Here we go. Okay, that's what that sounds like. I'm gonna take off the super tweets and uh, we'll hear what it sounds like without them. So give me one sec. So I unhooked the tweeters. So here we go. definitely tell a difference when you have these on um, let me put them back on just one more time so you guys can hear the difference okay here we go so everything's plugged in again <laughs> See what it sounds like when I put some lows on it. All right, here we go. So there you go guys, uh, they don't sound bad for 10 bucks. I mean, I wasn't expecting much and it's not bad. Um, now, I don't know what it sounds like with other type of songs. This is just the one song that I'm playing to demonstrate these at the moment, but for 10 bucks, it's not bad. So there you guys go. They don't sound too bad for 10 bucks, but it'd be kind of cool to uh, have another pair, just see what that would sound like. And guess what? I have another pair, so let's have some fun. Let me plug these in, and we'll have four of these guys going. So I got all four plugged in. There we go. And I disconnected the sub again, just to hear them without subs. So let's give this a listen. Still sounds good. So that's what that sounds like. So that's four of them. Let's put some lows back on this. See what it sounds like. Here we go.
I don't think it sounds bad. I just kind of wonder what it would really sound like with another pair. And guess what? I have another pair. So let me wire these up and uh, let's see what it sounds like. Okay, so I got these wired up. I unhooked the sub just to see what they sound like again without the sub. So let's uh, give this a try. turn down the sub output a little bit just so I can turn it up some more all right I turned down the subwoofer down here trying things out okay I'm gonna do one more thing and I'm going to use the pioneer sync app to make things brighter uh, right now I have it off I'm gonna turn it on to see if uh, if I can make things a little brighter and again I'm only using this one song to demonstrate I haven't used any other songs to see what those tweeters may sound like but uh, with this one song they don't sound bad So here we go. Just gonna pause this for a second. I'm gonna take these super tweets off 
to show you guys the difference. And uh, so just give me a minute, guys. I'll be right back. All right, so I disconnected the tweeters, as you can see. That's that side. And here's this side. So let's hear what this sounds like without the tweeters. And there you guys go. Again, they don't sound too bad for 10 bucks. Uh, I'm just having fun down here, getting back into the rhythm of things. Just wanted to make a fun video, so there you guys go. Uh, if you guys see these at Walmart and don't want to spend a lot of money on something, these ain't that bad. 10 bucks, why not? So thanks for watching everyone. Thanks for your patience. I'm back and there is more content to come. So thank you guys and I'll see you guys on the next one.